Okay, today we're going to put in a garden window that's uh, one big piece. So it's a lot more work than just uh, nailing on a window. Check it out. It's a gelled one and it's all put together already. Welded together, you can see it, three pieces. It's been sitting around a while. But uh, it's all welded together, so if you're careful, stick it right up there. But you can see these fins are nailed on. Going to be here at an angle. The wall is going to be like this, like this board here, right? So how do we get this nailed to a wall that's this way? I'm going to show you the, the way to do that. Okay, this is the area the garden window is going in. So we've taken out another window. It was a little smaller, broke it back a little farther. And now we have to actually break some more here. I'll show you how, what it's going to take to do this. So um, the framing's been cut there. A new header has to go in there. So here's what it looks like from the inside. The framing's already been cut somewhat. We've got to redo it a little bit. Header has been removed because we're putting a longer header in there. And of course there's pipes in the way and there's no plumber in sight. So we'll have to cut them out. And uh, that'll be that. Okay, once you get your framing done, new header in there, right? Got a new header. So that's what it's gonna look like there boxing out and then we'll get into the rest of that in a minute so I want to show you how you brace these off of course your stucco guys got to come out and do some magic later but for now get that brace in there shot here got a border piece here and I'm going to tag it to a stud in here meanwhile I've got to make it level right this board is all floppy jalopy so get out here and put a kicker so you got your board coming through this side and you just got to nail it to the stud. Okay, we got it all furred up the way we want it. And this whole area here is going to level out anyway, it doesn't matter. I wanted to get some strength, I'll show you why I did this. Okay, we got it all supported here. Solid pieces. The nailing fin, this here, will attach to here, and then to here. I didn't want it to be just plywood, so we put this on it, and actually need just a little bit more. But this is gonna be solid. There's not gonna be any issues with it. Now inside, the, the deck will level out and the wall will just come up like that and then this will get tile or whatever. Time to put some paper on here. Okay you've all seen this before. Waterproof flashing membrane overlapped and again nothing at the top until you put the window in onto the wood and then the flashing comes over it. Obviously the idea is water gets behind it he runs over, comes down. We all know that. Told you many times. Okay, it's barely two o'clock and look what we did today. We put that baby in. Like it's nobody's business. One minute it's not there, next minute it's in there. How do we do that? Got the flashing like I told you. Got it all set in there. A little shimming here. It's not a perfect world even though everybody wants it to be. And then we'll get this uh, flash paper pulling down here. Stucco guy will work on that. Got to get him a little more backing. So uh, anyway, one of my favorite things to tell you, remember, wait, wait for it. Man, bad zooming. See, there's a bubble there. Bingo. Well, it's hard to tell, but trust me when I tell you, the bubble don't lie. It's level. It's got to be level because people are going to be sitting here all the rest of their days doing the dishes, looking at that window thinking, man, that sure is level. That guy we got out here, he was on the level with us. <laughs> now here we can see the stucco guy's got his scratch coat on at the bottom half. I guess he ran out of gas here. <laughs> but we'll get her done, boys. Okay, bay window, 
buttons it up. So we got the rounded look going on on this one. Very nice. Stucco tie in. Look at that. There we go. Coming off the roof and on down.